Hey guys, how's it going? Now, of course, a lot of you guys have been worried about WhatsApp's privacy issues and the fact that it will be sharing all of your data with Facebook and its servers, which is why a lot of you guys have been moving towards different various apps and Signal is one of the most common choices out there. Now, while shifting from WhatsApp to Signal might sound easy, it is still a new app. So obviously getting used to it will take some time, which is why this video exists. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll talk about some of the first settings and features that you should enable and change as per your liking so that you get used to Signal quickly. Let's get started. Okay, so if you've been watching our Telegram videos and tips and tricks and basically following everything around Telegram, the biggest annoying feature around Telegram is the fact that it sends you a notification each and every time a new contact joins Telegram. That wasn't the case with Signal, but apparently it has become the case with it now. And trust me, it's one of the most annoying things that can happen on any chat application. Well, so the first thing that you need to do when you move to Signal is turn off this notification. Now to do that, open the Signal app and head over to settings. Now inside settings, tap on notifications, scroll down and under the event section, you will find contact join Signal. Just turn off the toggle and that's it. Okay, now if you're someone like me who does not really fancy all of those red receipts, I mean, I have them disabled on WhatsApp and you want to disable them on Signal as well, well, just follow these steps. Inside settings, head over to the privacy section and then scroll down below. Now under the communication tab, you'll find the option for red receipts. Just turn off the toggle next to it and that's about it. Next up is one of my favorite features by far, which is that you can use your Signal app on your PC as well. And unlike WhatsApp, which uses WhatsApp web, Signal works simultaneously without the need for having your phone to be connected to the internet at all times. But of course, you'll have to link up your PC. Now to do that, head over to signal.org slash desktop and download the client for your PC or Mac. Once you've installed it, open the Signal app on your phone and then head over to settings, tap on link devices, and then tap on the plus icon at the bottom. It will now open a QR code scanner. Just scan the QR code on your PC and that's it. Your devices should now be linked. Okay, now it's obvious that a lot of us are moving to Signal simply because we're worried about our privacy. Well, how about ensuring that your keyboard does not keep a track of all the stuff that you type as well? I know it may sound suspicious and whether you use Gboard or SwiftKey or basically any keyboard out there, they still store some of your data, you know, to help you with recommendations or suggestions that you will type later on. Now, if you really want a fully featured privacy chat application, you should, well, turn off all of this tracking. Thankfully, Signal has an option for that inside its setting as well. To do that, open the settings once again, then tap on privacy and then enable the toggle next to incognito keyboard. What it does is that it basically disables personalized learning on your keyboard application. Okay, now texts and everything are end-to-end -end encrypted, but your calls, well, while they are still end-to-end -end encrypted, they might still not be that secure. Thankfully, Signal offers a better encryption standard for that as well. To do that, once again, enter the settings, tap on privacy, and now inside the communication tab, enable the toggle next to always relay calls. As you can see, what it does is that it relays all the calls through the Signal server to avoid revealing your IP address. Now do keep in mind that since all of your data will be directly going through Signal's servers for relaying your calls, this can result in reduced call quality. But of course, that's the price you have to pay for securing your calls. Next up, we have themes. Sort of. I mean, you can't really customize everything, but you can still change the theme or more so the color of every chat with your contact. To do that, just open a chat that you want to change the color of. Now tap on the name and then scroll below to find the chat color option. Here you can select from a list of 13 different colors to basically change the theme of your chat with that desired person. Lastly, we have disappearing messages, which is basically, well, chat applications working like Snapchat, where your messages disappear after a certain period of time. It's really helpful if you do not want basically anyone to see your messages. Once your contact has seen them, the messages will disappear just like that. Yeah, works very well. And thankfully Signal offers this feature. Now to do that, open the chat with the contact you want to enable disappearing messages with. Now tap on the three dot icon in the top right corner and then tap on disappearing messages. Here you can choose the time limit for when you want the messages to expire or disappear. 
Personally, I have it set to 30 seconds, but you can choose as per your liking. And well, that was it. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Also, if you have any more queries or questions regarding Signal or Telegram or WhatsApp or any other chat application, make sure to sound off below and we'll try our best to answer them ASAP. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.